grove. They, the Lord said, I'm not dealing with you until you cast those idols. What did he tell uh, uh, Gideon? He said, take the first thing of the flock and burn it with the what? The wood of the grove. You know, you gotta put down those idols, Jesus and, and Jordan and Louis Vuitton. Right. Cast that into the fire, cast that into the fire at the altar and burn that shit. Then, uh, then the Lord will help you. That's why I said, we offend not. Why? Because they have sinned against the Lord. They have no power, yeah. you know? And, that, and that's, that goes back to that. That's why we got the two thirds, man. That's right. Because the two thirds not gonna do that. That's not, that's right. They're you know not gonna saying? do that. They're not gonna put down those idols, man. Those false ah, gods. You know, you? That's right. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna put down uh, uh, abortion America. You know what I'm saying? And Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. They're not gonna put down all of that uh, Islamic bullshit, man. Jehovah it's, Wickedness. It's, it's Jehovah Wickedness. You know, you saying, they gonna get, that's only one third of Israel gonna get saved because they're, them the ones that drew the people to Yahweh Shah. That's right. Them the ones who have been put, man, going through the fire, man, being tried. Man. That's right. You know? Hey, somebody, uh, hey, man. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Sure. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, bro. All right, this is Micah chapter 3, verse, I'm gonna start from 2. It says, Who hate the good and love the evil. Yeah, our people hate good and love evil, man. Who pluck off their skin from off them mm -hmm. and their flesh from off their bones, who also eat the flesh of my people and fillet their skin from off them. Yeah, who doing that? Uh, the, these false Israelite camps, man. You got guys out, out here sincere seeking the truth, but you leading them, you leading them worse off, man. You plucking, yeah, them pastors, them pastors, you know, but we in the, we in the, we in the great awakening, man. We in the Great Awakening, man, and people is understanding. You got people coming out of this church, doctor. You got people that understand and they know that this church, uh, what the, they grandma uh, philosophy is some garbage, man. And so now they seeking, you know, but you might, you tell them they're Israelite, but then you tell them that, uh, you might be from the tribe of Dan, or you tell them you can smoke weed. We, you know what I'm saying? You you plucking the flesh up off them, man. It's okay to eat pork. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's one of the main famous ones in the church. As long as you pray over it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You can eat it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I got a priest here too. Mm -hmm. so. Go ahead, Charles. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 14. Let them alone. They be blind. It's like it. Can you start up? Uh, uh, start up a verse. Okay. But here, hold that. The reason why it's going to go right to it. This is, this is uh, Matthew 7 and 15. It says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. Yeah, because, man, like the pastors, man, hey, man, they, they ain't really coming to teach the truth, man. Yeah. All they trying to do is uh, uh, get something about it. It's like, get something about it, man. It's pretty much uh, uh, money, man, and cash, man. And that's what happens when you when you go to these churches, man. He says, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. These these niggas is wicked on the inside, man. Their whole their whole agenda is to get your money and to get your wife, man. That's what the pastor's agenda is, man. His agenda is not about saving souls, man. He's not in, in this to save the souls of, uh, uh, of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. He's in it to manipulate you to get your goddamn money, man. He says, ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistle? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringing forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth, slack it, cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. See, these pastors in these churches bringing forth evil fruit, man. They wicked, man. They ain't teaching you the law, statutes, and commandments, man. They're not teaching you the way of the Lord, man. You people are still out here wicked as hell, man. That's right. That's how we know you that they false prophets, man because they don't go according to this right here. These, these pastors don't teach you according to this. They teach you some bullshit, man, to play on your emotions, man, in these churches, man, these haunted houses, man, to keep you deceived. That's right. To keep you sleeping docile. These pastors, they're harlings. They're hired. Shalom.
They're higher, man, by the, the so-called white man. They help keep you sleep, man. That's why they get them these 501c3 charters, man. And there's Israelite camps out here that got that 501c3 charter, man. We know you, we know you sold out to Esau, man. They help keep the masses docile. Because you see, because Esau know that Israel is waking up, man. He know it, man. That's right. That's why the scripture said, man, the devil, somebody can get that. Revelation 12 and 12, man. He said, every tree that bring up not forth good fruit is him down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruit ye shall know them. So all you people, man, that's still following these pastors, these wicked pastors, these uh these these false Israelite camp leaders, you gonna be you gonna be, you gonna get caught up in the midst of fire to come, man. Yep. You gonna get cast into the fire. You gonna get burned up by nuclear thermal missile fire, man. Lou, I got a precept. You got your revelations. Go ahead, brother. Pull up your precept. Uh, therefore, rejoice. Quote, quote. Quote it. Quote, quote and read up. Uh, this is Revelation 12, verse 12. Rejoice, therefore rejoice, free heavens, and redwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. He said, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, man. That's destruction. Destruction until you, you people that's inhabiting in this earth, man, that sleep. Go ahead, read. For the devil has come down onto you, having great wrath. Because right, he's talking it. about Esau, man. He's coming down having great wrath, man. Because you the Israelites, man. And he know that he only got a short time. That's right. Suck it, read it, bro. For the devil is come on to you, having great wrath, because he knows that he having for the short time. Right, and that great wrath, man, is to keep you docile, man. He's he going to destroy you in the time of Jacob's trouble. He's going to catch you people while you're out here sleeping, man. You're not going to be prepared, man. That's right. Because you people are still watching fucking love and hip-hop. You still out here eating pork, committing adultery, being wicked. Fourth of July. You're not out. You're not out here being watchful, man. You don't know what's coming, man. What's coming to this place, man, is destruction, man, and destruction, and destruction. That's right. You know, right. You, you you stupid ass people. You're the stupidest man. I think everything's a goddamn joke. Go ahead, bro. It's Matthew 7 and 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in a sheep's clothing. Right. You see, wicked ass niggas, man. These niggas with their flossy, flashy clothes. With their flashy clothes on, man. Or they flashy Hebrew garment. They're not real men of the Lord. Go ahead. But inwardly, they are remedying fools. Inwardly, they some niggas. They some wicked ass niggas on the inward part, man. They got nigga tendencies, nigga ways, man. They wicked. Go ahead, read. You shall know them by their fruits. Look at their churches, man. And look at the niggas that follow them. That's how you gonna know, cause they wicked too, man. They wicked as hell, man. They all following wickedness, man. That's how you gonna know them, man. The simple ass niggas, man. All you niggas that call yourself the Hebrew Israelites, still falling behind all these simple ass niggas. You gonna fall in the ditch. You a zombie, man. Go ahead, read. Lucky, it's lucky. Do men grab? Do men gather? I'm gonna start from the top. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs? Why? We not finna just let some digger come in and be amongst us? Some nigga who can't grasp onto this and do the work of the Lord and be sincere? We gonna try that nigga first, man. Can't any man just come up here and be in this, man? Not amongst us. Not amongst GMS. Go ahead, 
Go ahead, read. Even so, every good tree brings bring forth good fruit, but a, a corrupt tree bringing forth evil fruit. Right. That's why you got all these niggas out here docile, man. Because they got all these wicked ass niggas, man, amongst them. Go ahead, Kai. Let me just, let real quick, just to add to what you said. This is uh, Sirach chapter 6, verse 7. It says, If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. And you know, and that go back, you know, to the fruit. Like, you gotta prove it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be like, man, when you you see them herbalists, they be checking out the, the vine or whatever. They be looking at it, be like, uh, snip. Yep. No, this is cool. I'm gonna keep that. This one, uh, snip. Like the brother said, you can't. That's why GMS, we got a lot of people that don't make it, man. Because you gotta, first of all, the, the scripture says, uh, so real quick, let me get back to you, because somebody gets to rock four. It's a rock four and 12, but I'm gonna finish it out. It said, for some man is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. So that goes back to you shall know them by their fruit. Because we're supposed to be representatives of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? So these people ignorantly say, what would Jesus do? They don't know what the Son of the Most High would do. Because number one, they don't read. Number one, they don't read. All right? Number two, they'd rather just listen to what somebody will tell them, tell them to, but what? Going back to the scripture, what these, the, uh, the scripture say, they that lead my people cause them to hell. Right, God, go back, somebody pull that up too. Slack your eye. Uh, 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 Isaiah 29 to 13. Mm -hmm. It goes on hand in hand with that because that's how Jake is, man. They honor the Lord with their mouth, man. You know what I'm saying? But they, they not sincere, man. They, they, they not sincere in serving the Lord. Like the brother said, they don't read, man. I got you. They, they, don't, they don't seek the Heavenly Father, man. These people are full of shit, man. For lack of better words, man. You put it into your layman's terms. They full of shit, man. That's why when you start talking about the Bible and the scriptures, they always want to, you know, like, uh, well, I don't want to get into what we believe in. Yep. Because they don't know how to directly break it down. You know, when somebody came to me talking about the Bible, I'd be like, okay, what's up? You know, fully loaded. You know, but once you go to the church and saying, you know, hey, y'all doing this, y'all doing that wrong. Oh, well, brother, that's your belief. This is, you know, they don't want to get on it. They want to try to blow you away. That's all, that's all what a pastor do. And guess what? His followers, his followers are the same way. You know, if you're not talking about the same thing, they're talking about, oh, Jesus love everybody. You know, everybody can be saved. You got to call on a name. As soon as you start coming against that, then I was like, oh, well, that's your belief. You know, we're just going to leave it at that. Let's agree to disagree. Like, no, nah, man, scripture say what? Debate thy cause. You know, you're supposed to go back. And, I ain't going to say you're supposed to go back and forth because after two ammunitions, reject. But you're supposed to say, hey, prove your points with facts and scriptures. And then, boom, leave it at that. You know, you can't do that. There ain't no it's a balance yeah. to it because the scripture in Proverbs said, answer not a fool according to his folly. Right. Exactly. But then it say, answer a fool, you know what I'm saying, in his body. Right. So it's just being an asshole, like, what year did the Lord? Mm -hmm. I mean, what second did he? Come on now. Bro, that's foolish questions, man. You know, you asking, uh, 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 you asking a question that you know you don't want to answer to. You just asking just to stop us, man. That's why the scriptures say, well, he's proud knowing nothing, but doubt us about questions, man. You just try to find a question that's gonna stop us, man. Right? You're can not I, asking this sincerely. So can I bring out this real quick? Because he said, he said, uh, it ain't I want to hear what you believe and yeah. believe and all that. It's one belief according to the scripture. That's just one belief. Because what what it say? It say. Lord, one spirit. Yep. And, uh, this is uh, uh and that other one too, uh, they that worship me must worship me in spirit and in and truth. truth. Yeah, yeah. For the Father seeketh us to worship him. But this is John 7 and 38. It says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So that's the one belief. The, uh, as the scriptures say, that's why what Isaiah 8 and 20 to the law and the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, there's no light in them. There's no light in them because this is the light. This is how you lead people out of that darkness, which the prince of the power of this world, which is so-called white man, got everybody just walking around with a veil over their eyes. You been th you believing you was a Negro or a, a nigga? I asked somebody to I asked somebody at work. I say, what's your nationality? He said, I'm a nigga. I told him, nigga, only back in the 13, 1400s. They was calling people niggas over there in Europe just to represent dark skin. So that only means dark skin. We want to say Simon called a Niger nigga. Yeah. So that just represents dark skin. So your nationality ain't dark skin. That's my nationality, dark skin. I'm African American. Two two white people. A, a continent and a you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, like 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 the scriptures say, lean not on your own understanding. 
-hmm. You know, and that's how you got most of all these people out here. What are they doing? They lean on their own understanding, man. They think and they own simple mind that their pastors or they Israelite leaders, man, got the answers for them, man. No, man, you're supposed to seek after the Lord for yourself, man. Even us, man, we got our apostles, you know what I'm saying? And we listen to what they say, but we gonna research what they said, man, and make sure it's on point, man. We gonna go, we gonna go seek the Lord for ourselves, man. That's what you're supposed to do, man. How you think you're gonna get salvation, man, and the Lord don't know you? You got to get to know the Lord for yourself, man. The Lord don't know you. He's going to be like, nigga, I don't know you. Right. You sitting up there listening to everybody else, man. You ain't, you don't, the Lord ain't dealing with you. Hey, if I may add, Go ahead. Uh, because uh, me and Quan was talking about it earlier, it's one thing knowing the answer, but it's another thing knowing why that answer is right. You know what I'm saying? You could just be blurting out facts and, you know, yeah, oh, okay, this, uh, but it's like, okay, this why, this why I'm an Israelite. I'm an Israelite because of the prophecy, because I fit the prophecy. I'm not a, I'm not an African American because I didn't come from this, and I'm not that. That's what, you know what I'm saying? You got to understand why. That's, exactly. why, teach, that's yeah. why teachers in school never say, don't put the answer. Show your work. Show yeah. your work. How did you get yeah. to that yeah. answer? Yeah. Right. Because right. they don't want to know, okay, the answer is this. Okay, that's the answer. But how did you get to that point, you know? And you got to understand how to get to that. And what did they call it? They call it what? The solution. Yeah. The solution of the problem or yeah. to the problem. Breaking it down. Making Breaking it, it down. Yeah. Real quick, this, yeah. is, this is Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. I looked up that word principal thing. It said first beginning, best chief. All right. First fruit. Man, that's heavy. It says, therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Yeah. Okay, just get the answer. It's just, okay, I got the answer. The answer the question. I can tell it to you. And that's cool, mm -hmm. but you gotta learn how to get this. How, how did you get that? Yep, yep. You know, cause that's it. Somebody that really wanna know, they'll ask you, right? It's like, oh, so, 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 how did you get that? Like, you why? Go, yeah, why? You gotta go into the breakdown and give it to them, you know? That's right, yeah. Right, because that's wisdom, just knowing I'm an Israelite. Yeah. Like, well, how do you come up with that? <laughs> Crickets. Well, if, they fire, if they fire one shot and you dodge, you, you got to be ready for the next one. You know? you know? So when you come and say, I'm an Israelite, well, how do you get that? You go according to the scriptures. Go precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, as the scriptures tell us. You know? The scripture says, be ready to uh, answer every man that uh, asks the hope that is in you. You know? Be not ignorant of what he's just like a man of small and great. Yeah. Scripture says a righteous man study up to answer. To answer what, man? To give answer at need required. Then you learn that from your elders, like Sirach 8 says. You know? Anybody? What's y'all holding? Ephesians 4 and 3. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. Did it say spirits? Spirit. One, endeavoring to keep the bond of the spirit. One spirit is going to explain it. Go ahead. There is one body and one spirit. And even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Yeah, get uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 16. He said there is one body and there is one spirit. You know what I'm saying? We worship Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shah. There are no other gods before Yahweh. All right? And his son, the propitiation of sin for the house of Israel. Hey, that's how the scripture is said. That's what it says, he that believeth on me as the scripture have said. So when we, going back to the brother's point earlier, uh, these these false, these pastors is false, we telling you why they false. We're not telling your pastor false for no, look, your pastor false. He said you can eat, eat pork, Leviticus 11. No, you can't do it. Oh, he said the law done away with. Oh, he said the law done away with. No, First John 3 and 4. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, oh, Matthew, Matthew 5. So that's, you know what I'm saying, going in there and proving it. But can you read that part over again? There is one body and one spirit. Even ye are called in one hope of your calling. And what's that? Who got 1 Corinthians uh, 2 and 16? Hey, the land back off the brother, you know, because my Zal mentioned earlier, okay, man. You know, hey, there's no private interpretation. There is one doctrine. The word doctrine means teachings. There is one teaching. There is one faith. There is one hope, man. So we can't come together, you believe in something else, and I'm believing this. No. Scripture says we shall see eye to eye, man. 
You know Isaiah the uh, 62nd chapter? You know? It says that we